new information on ship management, character customization, and the concept of atmospheric flight and more. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, it's phase one. In this video, we're going to talk about the newly revealed information on the upcoming Starfield game by Bethesda. If you're new to this channel, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Before we get started, I'd like to give a big shout out to my newest channel member, Omec Ultra. Your support is greatly appreciated. In a recent interview with Todd Howard and P. Hines, we received some new information of Starfield. Let's get right into it. Much of the Starfield community is concerned about the announcement of having 1,000 explorable planets in the game. People are worried that the vast majority of the planets will be uninteresting and barren. Todd Howard mentioned that they've always utilized procedural generation in all their previous games and Starfield is no different. He further elaborated that the Starfield game involves the most handcrafting they've done thus far. They want to give the player the option to go through the quests only, but also to have the option to go out and explore and build. This way, the player has a choice to play how they want to play. In regards to ships and ship combat, the player will have various power systems to manage. You will have different weapon systems you can swap between. Along with this, you'll also have the grav drive to help you escape hairy situations during flight given the proper power management. All this bring depth to the mechanic. The combat experience is meant to be slow, similar to mech warriors. In addition to this, players will have the ability to disable, dock, board, and steal other ships. Also, there will be dialogue in space, whereas you can communicate with other ships. Ships are built with many different modules. There will be different ways on how to build these ships, whether you want to purchase the modules outright or to mine for resources, the choice is really yours. For character customization, there will be about 20 different backgrounds the player can choose from. They essentially work like classes and will have an impact on your gameplay experience one way or another. Depending on the background you select, you'll have a different advantages like dialogue, crafting, better relationships with other characters or factions and more. This definitely adds to the replayability of the game. It has been revealed that the new Atlantis is the biggest city they've ever built. The player will be able to visit and utilize services like ship modification. It's also home to the Constellation, which is a space exploration faction in the game. From what I've seen in the reveal trailer, New Atlantis looks quite interesting. I believe there will be a lot of interesting things to do there as well, such as finding shops for weapons or even modules for your ship or base. When it comes to the main storyline, you'll be tasked by the constellation to find artifacts and relics. The main quest will take about 30 to 40 hours to complete if you play straight through, but this will change from player to player depending on the playstyle. Also, atmospheric flight was also brought up as it is a top question from the community. They made a decision not to focus on the transition between planets and space. Instead, they made sure that the experience on planet side and in space would be great. To traverse between the two, a cutscene is utilized shown in the reveal trailer. We also received some interesting timbits from Pete Hines, where he mentioned that the studio's intention is to create a massive sandbox for the player to play how they want to play. Whether you want story, or to join a faction, build outposts, or even build ships, it's all up to the player to decide. He also mentioned that items in the world are real. You can pick up a weapon in a store, or even steal it. Of course, if you get caught, there will be consequences. Let me know the features you're most excited about in Starfield in the comments below. And if you haven't already, leave a like and subscribe for more. I will see you on the next one.